Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, bootlever shields, desolate search, passive, passive ninjas. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And today uh, I want to go to Turkey uh, because things are starting to get very interesting there as well. I've uh, talked all along, or at least thought all along, that uh, there has to be a larger involvement of Turkey uh, in this uh, this uh, offensive against ISIS. Uh, they are a key element, and they have a lot at stake, and it's only natural uh, being a member of NATO and also having a very large, powerful modern army uh, that they would get involved to some degree. And we have a couple dramatic events. One is that they've moved uh, quite a few forces to the border uh, in, the, in the region bordering uh, Turkey and, and Syria, uh, where the assault on Kobani is going on. And there's been a mass exodus. Apparently, Turkey is now saying that there are 160,000 Kurdish refugees who have uh, uh, moved into Turkey for the time being. So they're uh, managing that situation. We also have random uh, shells going off uh, in that border region. And, of course, the uh, Tur Turkish uh, forces have returned fire. But the more dramatic uh, development is that uh, on October 2nd, uh, their parliament is going to vote on whether to uh, expand uh, Turkey's uh, military involvement in this uh, situation. And they want to uh, make sure that the uh, language is broad enough uh, to encompass all uh, possibilities, all future possibilities. And what some of the things they're discussing now are pretty interesting. Uh, one uh, I've talked about before, and that's the idea of uh, deploying Turkish forces and creating a, a no-fly zone, a buffer zone, in the north of Syria. Uh, using Tur Turkish forces. So that would obviously uh, put Turkish forces face-to-face uh, -face, uh, with the Al-Nusra Front and ISIS. And, uh, and then we also have the uh, I uh, idea, which is a lot easier to do and would probably happen immediately, was opening Turkish bases to foreign troops. And so a lot of uh, coalition forces uh, would have it a lot easier to be able to operate from Turkish bases, and that's a very safe move for them. And, uh, but it's kind of interesting, the, the, the dynamics here, once again, uh, nobody has any clean hands. We have Turkey uh, involved from the beginning from in, in creating so-called free Syrian army, but also creating uh, uh, radical militants and arming them and training them and sending them back into the foray. And a lot of that's coming back to haunt them. So uh, once again, we have this these layers of complexity and uh, uh, things that come back to bite you. So uh, this could be pretty dramatic uh, if we have uh, Turkey joining in on airstrikes, potentially, uh, if we have uh, uh, coalition forces using Turkish bases, and more importantly, if we have end up having Turkish forces uh, deployed, it certainly will escalate from there, uh, because once uh, Turkish forces are deployed and uh, they confront these elements in, in Syria, uh, then we have uh, a lot more explosive situation. And there's also, just, uh, I'm sure they'll uh, also encompass the idea of uh, an incursion into uh, Iraq as well. They have a lot at stake there. They have a lot at stake in protecting a, a lot of their investments and a lot of their oil interests and trade and uh, commerce uh, with the thriving Kurdistan in the north of Iraq. And, and I'm sure it's well worth it to them to protect uh, that investment. So. Uh, this uh, language that we see come out uh, on October 2nd will uh, obviously keep that open-ended as well. And I would not be surprised at some point uh, to see uh, Turkish forces uh, in Iraq as well as Syria. So uh, as I always say in, in these videos when these events start unfolding, uh, the things were going to be happening pretty quickly. And uh, all, although there is the potential for this uh, situation to go on for quite some time. Uh, the most dramatic elements of it are certainly unfolding right now. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, Turkey is probably going to be in the fray soon. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?